Natasha Fada is following this story for us in the newsroom. So, Natasha, walk us through, you know, what we know so far. Well, what we know is that around 4 p.m., zoo officials say they started hearing people screaming around the gorilla enclosure and then quickly sealed off the area. And this is what they saw when they came on the scene, Renee. This four-year-old boy, they understand, felt 10 to 12 feet down into the moat in the gorilla enclosure. There were two female gorillas. They were far away. But this 400-pound male gorilla named Harambe came to the scene. You can see him clearly holding the boy between his legs and was sort of uh, jostling him a little bit. Some have described it as him dragging him through the water. But many say that he wasn't attacking the boy. In fact, he was just playing with him. But we're talking about a 400-pound animal. It could be potentially dangerous. It was described as a life-threatening situation for the boy. So within 10 minutes, the zoo officials had to respond and they deployed a special team that shot and killed the gorilla. Many have asked, why didn't you just tranquilize the animal? The zoo has responded that in fact, tranquilizing a 400 pound gorilla would take quite a bit of time for the tranquilizer to take effect and they couldn't endanger the boy. Here's what the zoo officials are saying today. They did the right thing and yet it's a difficult day. The zoo's in the business of taking care of endangered animals and we certainly don't want to be in a situation where they have to be killed. So the zoo is saying it was a very sad day for them. They are also saying that the boy has been transported to a hospital where he is being treated for his injuries. And what kind of reaction are you seeing uh, to this story out there? As you can imagine, lots of reaction. A an endangered animal has been shot and killed at a zoo that was meant to protect him. So many people questioning, what was the zoo's role in all of this? How could a four-year-old boy get access to the enclosure and be able to fall through? Uh, and many people wondering also, why did something like this have to happen while the zoo was still filled with people? Let's have a listen to a woman who was at the zoo at the time. It's very friendly, it's, everything is beautiful here, but when you see something like that and then you have the disappointment because how do, what do you say to your grandchildren? So as a result, a number of social media pages have opened up using the hashtag RIP Harambe. You can see that from this Facebook page. And lots of people also very upset because these animals could easily live uh, up to 40 years. And he was only 17. In fact, Harambe celebrated his 17th birthday just on Friday. Lots of questions about the zoo's behavior, the family's behavior, the parents in question, and whether this is the right way to tackle a situation like this. All right. Thanks, Natasha. You're welcome.